And these are the top 10 signs your characters are in a bad romance. Number 10. She only wants to snog you because she thinks you're the chosen one. Number 9. A bet is involved. Cruel intentions, saved by the bell, she's all that, the list can go on. But if a bet's involved, you can guarantee there's going to be a serious case of bad romance. Number 8. He's Chuck Bass. Now an aside. I love Chuck. Swoony. But seriously, if there was ever a case of bad romance, it's Chuck and Blair, especially the early days. Number 7. You've broken up like five times. Veronica, Logan, you guys would be so great together. It would be epic. Epic. Number six. She's only pretending to like you while the cameras are rolling. Specifically, she's pretending for the cameras so that she can outsmart the other tributes in the arena so that she can win the Hunger Games. Sorry, dude. Number five. He only wants you for your brains. No, not because you're smart. Brains. And before the zombie apocalypse, you married his brother because he was in love with your best friend. It's just a big mess. Number four. You're related. Shh. Number three. He turns into a stragoy locks you up against your will, and keeps you blissfully unaware with his vampy teeth. Those vampires are the worst offenders. Number two, his absence makes you jump off a cliff. I'm looking at you, Bella. In characters, the number one sign you're in a bad romance, your love interest wants to kill you. Literally. Poor Buffy. And those are the top 10 signs that your characters are in a bad romance. Scott's up next tomorrow, and I hope you're enjoying our Bad Romance Week. I want you ugly, I want your disease. I want you everything as long as it's free. I want your love. Love, 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 I want your love. <laughs> Brains.